how's it going? My name is Alexon, and welcome back, everybody. Now, today, we're here with the Survival Let's Play. Today, we're on episode two, and, uh, hey, dude, how's, how you doing, man? Uh, do you have any good trades, actually? Uh, no, you don't, so you don't need to go in here. But, today, guys, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, we are gonna be moving out of this village. It's not really any use for us anymore, except for the crops, um, but also for the villagers. That's the only thing I'm really gonna be keeping this village close by, and I did move, actually, a pretty far distance. It's not too far away, actually, uh, to be honest, but I think you guys will like it. The idea is to stay close to the village and uh, so we can make some good trades and I did block off these uh, villagers here because some of them do have some good trades. Um, I believe it's this guy right here and he does have some interesting trades you know an iron pickaxe efficiency things like that so I decided to keep them in here especially these three just in case so they don't die uh, from the mob uh, mobs when they're out of there and stuff like that. But I want to show you guys first of all I did move my things um, and that's because I did move to a different location which we're going to go shortly and I did get a lot of good mining gear which is I have actually in the chests down over there at the base so we're gonna go there but I want to show you guys the mining I did so you guys can uh, see how far I went I actually went for a few hours mining and things like that and um, this was a while back actually but I did get a lot of good gear and I want to thank you guys again for all the support on the last episode uh, I really want to thank you guys for that and if again we can go for like 50 likes that'd be amazing leave a few comments down below some feedback a lot of you guys left great feedback which is something I like to see a lot so as we make our way down here I want to show you guys I did a lot of the classic strip mining and that's what I did basically for a few few long hours around here and I got a lot of decent things especially this one this one goes down for a long time I don't really want to go down there uh, because it's gonna waste a lot of time but I did find around 18 diamonds a lot of redstone actually a lot of redstone and a good amount of iron not too much iron to be honest iron I feel like you find more in caves if anything uh, like open caves so yeah I guess it will be enough for us to make a few good tools when I get back to the place I want to make ourselves um, a pickaxe a diamond pickaxe and see what else we're gonna do with the diamonds uh, you know I'm gonna take actually I don't need that uh, that was over there just to make some more uh, pickaxes while when I was mining and stuff like that but I want to get ourselves uh, whatever remainder gear we have here I don't think we're gonna take much I want to take the bed actually just in case it gets night outside doesn't look like it is but uh I mean this stuff we don't really need except for the bed just in case we die but I think we're just gonna leave it there for now we don't really need it to be honest um, but some food here I do want to grab some food just for our farm uh, because I am gonna be making a farm this episode and I am gonna be showing you guys the layout of the future house we're gonna be making so that's today's episode really and uh, just in a nutshell so I'm just gonna grab some things a lot of the potatoes we do need right now because I want to make a big farm for us because I think that's gonna be awesome I didn't really make one I want to make like a greenhouse design it's turning night outside. I actually am going to go get some rest quickly, and then we can continue our mission, and we pretty much should be freely, uh, pretty well, actually. It should be night soon. Come on, let's be honest here. It's sunset, sun, uh, sunset, yeah. All right, so once we fall asleep, we'll go to our new house, the new location. I want to know your feedback from that as well, guys. I would like to see uh, what you guys think about that. And, uh, for the villages, we'll probably check them out, um, later. I don't really have any plans right now for them, except for, like, making sure that we can get the villagers and things like that. But besides that, that's the goal right now. We're gonna go over there. It's really not too far away. I just wanna get some, uh, seeds, actually. That's my big thing. And I'll probably just plant these back when I get the opportunity, but right now I do not have the chance to do that, because I wanna go and work on the builds. Uh, and just work on the location. So it's really not far away and that was the idea I kind of wanted to stay close to the farm due to the fact that there's a lot of good resources around here And it is pretty convenient to be honest when you have a few villagers and also the location was pretty spot-on There's a nice little bay over here for us Which we can do some cool designs a dock or things like that, but the house is really right around here uh, Where is it? There you go. It's up here So I did work on some little things I just made some stairs just so we can get up there and I can show you guys the dream plan now once you get up here basically it's going to be the house. I made a little small uh, layout for us so we can get the idea of how big it's going to be. It's not going to be too big, but after that, around here, I want to make a big, big, big uh, deck over here. So this is going to allow us to do a lot of cool things and have some cool things under there. Now, what I was thinking, because today that's what we're going to really work on is our farm. We're going to have like a a nice little farm. I was thinking of actually clearing out this area and making a glass covered farm area just for seeds and things like that. Just for like carrots, potatoes, and it would be kind of interesting to have it right under the deck. But again, under there I was thinking maybe to have a stable. So I want to know from you guys some feedback. Um, so in the meanwhile, I want to get the foundation built of the house and then I will probably do a speed round uh, episode 3 for you guys to finish up the house quickly. And then actually down here what I was planning to do was actually have ourselves the farm so this would be like right around here 
basically a covered up in glass and it'll be a simple farm and that's what we're going to do we're going to start off with just doing the foundation actually if anything and uh, I just want to show you guys up here I did store all the chests and I want to show you guys what type of materials I got while I was mining so this is just everything we got we got uh, 20 iron on top of 27 uh, more we got 18 diamonds and a lot of redstone like I talked about and one emerald from that trade we did with the villager and some lapis lazuli and some apples and little stuff like that so again this is not the most this is we need i mean it's not the most uh comfortable suitable amount of diamonds but again we can get more uh over time when we do mining and things like that so let's uh get ourselves a few things going here now i, don't, I have a few furnaces i want to make sure we can get some of the food going around here now this is just gonna be a quick mess it's really not gonna be much here uh because i don't have i do have some coal okay there we go i do have some coal so I want to put a lot of this stuff to cook right now, and I do want to have a little bit extras just for the farm, and uh, that's the main goal right now. I'm going to actually put a lot more potatoes in there, stack about a stack, and some wheat, uh, poisonous potato, we really don't need that to be honest, um, except I think you could do something with potions, not 100% sure, but I will grab the seeds, I will grab the sugar cane, and I think that's pretty much all we need right now just to start off the farm. I'll take a few more of those potatoes while we do our work. And, oh yeah, for the foundation. Let's get started on that, first of all. So, um, I'm actually going to need to cook some stone. So, we should go do the farm, if anything, right now. And just cook that right now. We don't really need all that coal for that project right there. Grab some more. And let's go do our diamond pickaxe. That was the goal, actually. I forgot about that. So, we're going to make our diamond pickaxe right about now and that's gonna be our first pickaxe which is awesome a big upgrade right there to be honest so we have 15 more diamonds now my plan is i could make some armor um or i could stick with the iron armor i have right now which reminds me i want to make a chest piece um we do have a plenty of iron for a chest piece let's get that done right now but again in the feedback section let me know what is the best option um for the diamonds what do we do with the rest of the diamonds i'm not going to use them yet because i don't know what we're going to do with them i want you guys to let me know in the comment sections uh but without further ado let's go and work on that farm i was talking about um i have big plans for it now i'm seeing i don't really have any wood I want to make some tools actually. So I'm going to make ourselves some simple tools, iron tools right now because I don't want to use the diamonds for anything. Uh, but with these tools, we'll pretty much have ourselves um, a decent amount of resources to use from. And I want to make actually an iron sword. I should make a diamond sword, but again, I don't want to use it until I get some enchants and things like that. And that's a good point. I can make an enchantment table if anything. Um, so, alright, let's go do our work down to the farm. I think that's the first priority we're gonna do. And then, if anything, we'll go down to that, uh, woods area and chop down some trees and things like that. So let's clear out this here. Maybe we'll get some seeds, something useful around here. There we go. And then once that's done, we'll pretty much, uh, clear out some little section here for a little farm. And again, we're gonna be filling this up with... Uh, glass and that's something I have to go find it's just sand we have plenty of sand around here which we will use eventually uh, but I want to get started with this um, this kind of like greenhouse uh, chain I'm not really sure how I'm gonna design it actually but I'm thinking actually it would be nice to have it right there so you know that's the best location right now we're gonna have to get some wood for th some fences but right now I want to make ourselves the area for um, I guess for the food so let's get actually working on that I'm gonna put the sugar cane around the coast here and in that case that's gonna be easy to grow fast little easy project here to finish off and that should grow for us very fast because sugarcane does grow faster I believe on sand rather than uh, dirt so that would be pretty interesting I'm just gonna clear out any other things around here just because it bothers me and we'll get some more seeds from that as well uh, I forgot to make a shovel I forgot about that actually let's go make a quick shovel and then once that's done we'll just dig our way make a little areas for some seeds and then uh, put some water and that would be good enough because uh, I don't have any sand right now just to start working on that project. That's another time to get some glass working. We'll probably do that in the future. Uh, but besides that, I think we're good. Let's go work on the area for the farm, which is a big step. We need that. And I want to get some saddles again for animal farms, things like that, which is going to be really important. Now, I'm going to quickly uh, terraform this because I want to make some use out of it as well. Um, something like this should be fine because the idea is um, I'm gonna have another level um, of farm here of crops but I want to make the little base over here for the um, you know what I think it's better idea to actually 
dig in a bit more. I kind of want to have it on one level, if anything. So I'm just going to quickly get some more of this out of the way. And then it's going to start off as a small farm because um, I don't have much plans right now. We don't have any glass or anything like that. So that's the idea. Just a small farm right now, right about here. And uh, yeah, let's actually start working on that right now. So we're going to make ourselves the simple... Um, I think we, I think, no, potatoes, potatoes for sure, because that we have more of, and I want to start off with doing whatever we have more crops, um, and I think another layer right here, and that should be pretty good, just for the starting base, um, and this should be pretty decent for now, I don't want to go too far, two layers, actually, let's do, if we can, let's do this whole area here, because we do have the space for it, so, starting over here, and we'll just make our way here, and then I'm not going to tag too much time off of this, uh, just for the farm, so we're just going to do as much as possible, and uh, just to get some crops growing. That's kind of the goal. And then eventually we'll make the greenhouse. Um, I just wanted to get some opinions from you guys about what we should do with the greenhouse location, what should we do with the diamonds, things like that. All right, so let's get ourselves the uh, water and just place them randomly. Just doesn't matter really. I don't want to fill it up perfect. I will do that off screen, but I just want to get the crops growing. That's the most important thing right now. Food and then a lot of villager trades and then a lot of diamonds and a lot of good gear like that. So let's actually start getting our crops here. Because we do have the potatoes, and I will do some seeds as well. Uh, we actually have more seeds than potato uh, potatoes. That's actually a surprise. I thought we would not have that much, but we do have plenty. So I'm just going to start making this side potatoes, and um, that's going to be a lot easier. Just keep everything organized. I think that's a better idea than just making it all random. So potatoes on this side. <laughs> I'm trying to eat a potato. No, no, don't eat potatoes. Let me actually eat a few right now because I am a bit hungry. And yeah, maybe a fishing dock would be pretty nice here or on the other lake down on the other side. That could be pretty useful as well. So again, a lot of comments for this episode. I need your opinions and things like that. So we're just going to make one last row here for potatoes. And the next three rows will be for the wheat, I guess. I think that would be pretty good. That would be pretty decent, actually. So yeah, seeds here. And uh, three here, three there. Okay, it's about even. Um, not 100% perfect, but it should be pretty good. So let's get these seeds planted out. And last row would be right about here. Oh, this is sand, so we're going to let that be. Maybe we'll replace it right now quickly with some dirt, which I want to do. Because we got to get enough resources, a lot of food. Um, and we have plenty of dirt, actually. We have a lot of dirt for, for more crops, which is going to be definitely a big bonus for us at the end. All right, so there you go, guys. This is the little farm, starter farm, potatoes. And on this side, there is the uh, wheat. So that should be good. <clears throat> All right, let's go move on to our base. Because I did mention we've got to work on this a bit. It's a bit rustic. It's really You can't really see anything right now. It's just a little foundation. Hopefully you guys can see past it. It's basically going to be like a um, kind of like a winter type of house. Something really rustic, kind of like old-fashioned in a way. I, I kind of want to build something like that. That's kind of been my big uh, plan to make this really cool house. So the first thing I need is a lot of spruce wood. I got to go get a lot of that actually. And that's going to be starting off as our main wood design. And then we're going to have to go over and get some dark oak, which is really awesome that we have everything so close by. That was why I kind of picked this location. Everything is so close by, and it's just a really good benefit for us. And that's kind of what we need at the end of the day. I hope it's not getting dark right now because I just started getting wood. That would suck if it's if it's going to start getting dark. Oh, yeah, it's sunset. Um, we're going to, you know what, we're going to work in the night a bit late shift that's gonna have to happen I guess right now because I don't want to make my way all the way to the villager place just to sleep so we'll deal with it the first night and hopefully there's not gonna be too many creepers around here or zombies and things like that that bother us uh, but I will see maybe I have some extra wool I can make a quick bed at our new house location again let me know what you guys think about the new house location I wanted to get some wood on screen because really that's what the first uh, and second episode are really about kind of getting resources getting locations getting farms settled and uh, a lot of you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play, which is awesome because I definitely have some fun with this one. I really do like it. And the location is just great up there uh, for the house. So, oh, there's some cows up here. That is a good sign. That means we can get a lot of animals. Um, definitely, that's a good sign, actually. There's two cows here, some sheep. Oh, sweet. Let's get the sheep, actually. There's plenty of sheep around here, actually, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. And, uh, yeah, so once I get this wood, we'll make our way back, make a quick bed to sleep in, and then uh, start working on the, I guess, foundation of the base. That was the last plan. And, again, this is a bit going into about a 20-minute episode. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go to our place because we only go up to, like, 20 minutes, if anything, for episodes. Don't want to keep them too long. But I'll probably make one more right after this for you guys so you guys get them daily as, as soon as possible. 
And now we're going to go make our quick bed at our new location and quickly set up the foundation. If anything, we'll start working on the house next episode, but I want to get this foundation done strictly because it is important for me right now. I want to show you guys what it's going to look like when it's basically complete, you know, in a way of you guys getting a visual, an idea of what I'm talking about. Because it's hard to really say um, what you have in mind and just have the same vision as others would probably picture, but it's really not. So uh, let's put the bed right here and go to sleep quickly. So this is going to be a new spawn if we die. So it will be perfect location for us just for safety concerns and things like that. So, all right, I think the potatoes are finished. Uh, 44. That's actually a lot of potatoes. All right, so let's go quickly show you guys what I have in mind here. So now this area right here, this is going to be like the foundation and I do have some more stone. I don't know why my frames are dropping for some weird reason. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up on your side, but yeah, it's kind of bugging me right now. So I'm going to quickly make this all into stone brick and then 40, let's just convert it all. Really, there's no loss to converting it all to uh, stone brick right now. So once we had that, almost a stack. Pretty good, pretty good stuff right there. Now, I might work with uh, this type of, uh, I guess, cobble or stone brick. Still thinking about it. But uh, right now, I actually want to go straight to the design. Now, I believe right here... All right, guys. So what I quickly did was I actually cleared out this area because it was bugging me because I couldn't really see it my well, uh, the way I w was envisioning it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, next episode we're actually gonna start off and work with the foundation and basically get the house built. That's what we're gonna do next episode. I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, the idea is once I can do a full episode with the house build, you guys will basically get a better understanding of how this is going to work. It's really hard to explain it all in one episode. Uh, but as you guys can see down below, our farm is doing pretty well. I need some ideas for that for the next episode. Uh, we want to get ourselves the uh, greenhouse effect, so we're going to make more things around here. Just so it works well, we're going to have to build a glass dome for the farm. We're going to make it much longer and fill it up pretty well. And we've got to put some fences around there as well, just for the design approach. And uh, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I don't know why my frames are, uh, like, dropping for some reason. Weird. Really weird, actually. Uh, but I hope that doesn't bug you guys too much. Now, uh, the idea was to actually start working on the foundation this episode, but I apologize about that because I kind of had a quick change of idea of how I want to build a house. So that's why I'm going to be doing next episode the house build and probably it's, it's going to be a speed run. And once that's done, we'll probably do some more little things working on the farm. And if not, going to travel a bit and see what else we can find. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode of the Survival Let's Play. If you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit that like button. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time with some more videos. Peace out, guys.